Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we're going to wire in a plug for our generator, and I've got uh, two different plugs. One like this, this is just your standard plug, 30 amp. It's got your four terminal twist lock, and this is going to be the one that I install in my shop. Well, here's two different plugs, two different styles, and this is just your customary. You see a whole lot of these little four pin twist lock cord just screws right in. Uh, this one is a little different. It's got a trap door on the bottom, same kind of, uh, same kind of plug, and uses the same type of cord. Uh, well, I've run my cable to my dedicated circuit breaker in the box. I've marked it with label tape, and uh, it's the one that has the green wire with it. Um, I also have it also indicated by some uh, blue tie straps, just to kind of draw attention to it that it's a little something different in the box. Also on the breaker, I put some red tape. So uh, with the red tape on those wires, red tape on the breaker, should pretty much be a no-brainer if somebody opens this panel other than myself. Well, what we have right here, this is 10 gauge wire, and I uh, already had this cable here, and to be able to make it comply to the wiring requirements of this plug, I had to get an additional uh, ground wire 10 gauge and uh, so I've ran that all the way back to the box. Well, I've got all my wires color coded. The green wire had the white tape on there to indicate that it's the neutral wire. The white wire had the red tape to indicate it's a power and the black wire power. And of course, the naked wire is a ground wire. The ground wire is going to get uh, connected to this grounding lug and on the plug itself it has a wire that also jumps to the grounding lug. This plug has a W for what the white wire is and then there's X and Y and that's where the two red wires will connect, one on one side and one on the other. Well we've got all our wires tight on the back of the socket and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of finesse this cover back on there. These wires are kind of stiff so it's going to take both hands and maybe a shoulder to get this cover back on there. Well that wasn't too bad. It went on there pretty easy. But anyway, now we've got that thing wired in and uh, I think we ought to hook a generator up to it and see how it works. Well, I've got my 220 plug here, and uh, we're going to hook it in. Oh. There we go. Well, here's my generator. It's uh, got the Harbor Freight generator head on it, and it takes a minimum of 16 horsepower to operate it, and that's a 16 horse Kohler. And with any luck, We'll be able to fire it up and uh, power the shop with it. Well, what I'm going to do is disconnect from main power. Gonna turn the main power on from the generator. We're working on generator power now.
Well, all right, I hope you found that useful on how to install the uh, generator plug and wire it into your panel. And uh, it seems to work really good with my generator. So anyway, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.